if you are familiar with this channel, you'll know that I really enjoy cycling. When I was 15, 16, I actually was really, really into mountain biking and even competed in a couple of races. However, since then, more than a decade has passed and sadly, I've not really kept up with mountain biking. So today I thought it'd be interesting to revisit an old skill, a decade old skill and see if I can improve. So I've got myself a bike and a coach. This is Ben Cathro, Scottish downhill champ. So I told Ben I'd like some coaching to work on my existing skills and see if I can improve. He suggested we visit Comrie Croft and try out the Black Downhill Run, a fast single track with rocks, drops, roots and mud. The aim here is to see if I can improve my time on this run with some coaching from a pro. The local bike shop, which I may say is excellent, hooked me up with a Merida 120, perfect for this sort of trail. This is day one, hour zero. So we've had a little roll down the track just to kind of confirm to Mike where he's going and what features are there, purely for safety. So he knows where he's going and now he's going to set his base time. So he's going to go as fast as he comfortably can with no advice from me. And uh, then I'll see if I can make him go faster. Okay, right, three, two, one, go. Okay, and we're off. First time run. Oh, through the berms. Pedal, 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 down this little drop section. Nice, steeper here. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Up here. Whoa. Whoa. Almost over the bars. Ah. Slipping. Slipping. Oh, slow through the berms. Down this steep section here. Oh, I should have went over the jump. Two twenty. Geez, that's uh, that's a lot longer than we thought, right? Ben, how much time do you think we can take off? Um, with the two days we have, I reckon, I reckon ten's looking good. Ten seconds is doable. I want twenty though. <laughs> I want twenty seconds. I want a one fifty nine. <laughs> Edit this out if I can't do it. So with Ben's recommendation, we set the milestone at shaving 10 seconds off my original base time of 2 minutes 20. So now the hard work begins. Rather than push or cycle up the whole track each time, Ben recommended we section the track. This means isolating areas one at a time to allow for more focused practicing. We started with these tricky two corners. Everything you said, just I didn't listen to it. Whoa. I'm okay. <laughs> Too fast in. Let's go slower. Chill. Mellow in. Yeah. Fast through and out. Felt a little bit better. What do you think, Ben? Almost bang on. <laughs> on my first time run. As I approached this, my brain just instinctively steered the bike around. And that's probably because one is quite big and two, because there is a tree like right in front. It's daunting, but it gives you a faster, straighter line. So we've got to conquer it. Number one goal with features. If it's something that's going to jump you or kick you or send you off the ground, your goal is to try and get the bike back on the ground as soon as possible. If you get the bike back on the ground, you can steer, you can balance, you can brake, you've got control. Functional, but we can get it better. That was pretty good. Mmm. So what we thought would be an interesting idea is if Ben sets a time, just to see how fast someone who knows what they're doing can do it. Three, two, one, go. Woo! 
Okay, we're gonna try a second timed run after a little bit of coaching from Ben. Hopefully with my improvement in the corners and some line choice, we can shave a little bit of time off that. Fourteen, six seconds, exactly what you said. Yeah. Happy with six seconds in one day. Yeah, so yeah. I think a little bit more sectioning, we could definitely shave off another five seconds. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling confident. <laughs> He's confident. On day two, we began sectioning the top half of the run. There's a few tricky bits where we could make up some time here. Let's get practicing. So the idea on this corner is controlled in, fast out. More commitment. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, less commitment. Yes. Ben says I should be doing that all no breaks. Oh good. So drops. In mountain biking are scary and dangerous and they're a huge time sink. So getting them right will save you a couple of seconds. Cool, that was better. He used his full range of movement that time. That should allow him to hit it faster and still keep it smooth. We worked our way down the whole track, with Ben coaching me on each feature which had caused me problems. By lunchtime on day two, I was ready for another timed run. The training is done. We have covered the key things that are gonna make the biggest difference for Mike. Will he go faster? Will he go 10 seconds fast? Let's go and find out. Okay, Ben, I am ready when you are. Okay, right, three, two, one, go! Challenge completed, right? So I always say that the best way to set a goal is to make it tangible, to make it real. And you can write it down or tell people, or in my case, I look straight down the barrel of the lens and very clearly state what it is I aim to do. I'd like to see that time drop to two minutes 10. That's 10 seconds off my original time. So when I crossed the line with a 206, I was delighted. Uh, that's 14, 13 seconds faster than my original time. Challenge done. However, I did also say this. I want 20 though. I want 20 seconds. I want a 159. <laughs> Edit this out if I can't do it. So it was kind of jokingly, it was off the cuff, it was on Ben's camera, not mine. But I did say it. Once it's on one of these, it might as well be written in stone. So when I crossed the line with a 206, it was a kind of hollow victory. So back up the hill we went, with a target of below two minutes. It's nearing the end of day two. I would really like to get below two minutes. Not sure that's gonna happen, but we're gonna give it one last timed run and I'm gonna put everything into it um, and see what happens. Okay, here we go. 
Yeah. Three, two, one. One second, oh, no! <laughs> Despite the onset of fatigue and the dwindling daylight, we decided to have one more go at cracking the two minute barrier. One more push to apply everything Ben had taught me and ride harder than before. I was tired and nervous and out of my comfort zone. So absolutely pumped to take 24, 23 seconds off my original time and to beat that two minute milestone. Ben runs a YouTube channel as well, it is excellent, it's all about mountain biking and coaching and racing and you should definitely check it out, go subscribe to Ben. Thank you very much for watching. I am always telling people to try out filmmaking, video production, telling stories through the medium of moving pictures. It's had such a profound impact on my life. I really would recommend this to anyone. So my suggestion to you this week is to get a free trial copy of either Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, shoot some footage on your phone and learn to edit, learn to tell a story using the world-class tutorials on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 17,000 classes. You can learn game design, photography, app development, marketing, how to cook, or how to produce beautiful videos from scratch. Premium membership can be as low as $10 a month and gives you full unlimited access to all classes. But the first 500 people to sign up to Skillshare using this link will get two months for free. And if you want to cancel after that initial period, that's no problem. So if you want to learn something new and support the show, use the link in the description to get started with a free two month trial. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, still got it. Still got it.
Ha <laughs> <laughs>